this is a Christmas movie. Ah. Oh. And yes, I'm the one who made it. And unlike the last that took 24 hours, this one took a whole month, but not for the reasons that you'd think. This is our table of drugs and cocaine. So last year, my friends and I decided to make a Hallmark Christmas movie parody. It was funny enough and we had a fun enough time making it that we decided to do another one again this year. And if you wanna see that one, it'll be in the description and probably up there somewhere. But for this year, we were gonna be a little bit more ambitious. A bigger cast, a bigger budget, a crazier plot, women. It was gonna be insane. We decided to make this one a sequel to the one we made last year, but completely changed the genre from a Hallmark Christmas movie to a Christmas action thriller. Yeah. The original was called Every Christmas Has Its Christmas. So this one would fittingly be called Every Christmas Has Its Christmas 2. So with lofty ambitions, me and my friend Cole got to work writing the script. Dying in this universe is finding the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs> I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. It is Christmas time. <laughs> As the bad movie idea guy, my goal was to make this movie as bad as possible. It said that in his vault, in the drug den, there, lay, there lies, on my island is buried a treasure. But bad doesn't mean unenjoyable, it just means good in a different flavor. And this graph represents what I'm talking about. If I put in too much work, I'll probably end up just with a mid movie. So if we made the script as stupid and goofy as possible, where none of it made sense, it would just be a masterpiece of a comedy. Logan, Modern Warfare 2, when you give him the package, he shoots December. Well, me and Cole were done, we had ourselves a great script. Except we only wrote the ideas down and I still had to, like, write all the dialogue and whatnot, which I did the day before recording. So here's kind of what we need to do. First of all, we need to get the script together. Then I have to get an order together of, like, the order in which we are shooting. Scratch that, I finished it the morning of. Rise and grind, gamers. It's four in the morning right now. Now it's time to get her going. It's about 6.30 right now. I just finished the script. So the date was December 3rd. We would be filming the majority of the movie in one shot. We were only missing two of our cast members. We only had one scene each. So realistically, we could knock out 90% of the movie right here. That's big. Yeah. Shoot, Tolly. And we did a table read of the script with part of the cast just to make sure everything was up to that Johnny Razor level of quality. Well, how do you deal with his goons? <laughs> All of them have wives and families, so make sure to only kill them a little bit, otherwise Christmas will be ruined. <laughs> But after a while, the rest of the available cast made it and we began filming. So you're gonna be falling, you run and go, Venti, ah, as, as emotional as you can be. Not like that. Oh, look, he's a spider. Our star-studded cast included rapper Chrome, AKA Da from Abstinence Anthem, Cole and Joe from our last Christmas movie and Arak Adventure, along with Logan, Gia, and Liz, who we call Wids. The movie would also include Gabe from Cursed Cooking and our last Christmas production, along with my friend Michaela, who also agreed to help out. And with that out of the way, we began filming. If you can get like right there and have us both in the shot. Here's how this one's gonna go. So, I'm gonna say my line. Oh. Joe's gonna get up, he's gonna walk that way out, so nobody like be you on that side. Now I was the cameraman, director, writer, and an actor at different parts, so I was beyond stressed. Goon squad. Uh. <laughs> Goon, Goon squad. squad. <laughs> Some of the shots didn't come out nearly as good as I wanted them to, either because someone else was filming, or because I was just trying to get through every line and like film everything as quick as we could. We'll have to deal with his goons, so. Just like <laughs> <laughs> the audio got messed up a lot. We got venti latte, poison expert. <laughs> My family was talking in the background while we were filming. I like Los Pollos Hermanos. Anything. <laughs> 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 we're filming a movie. <laughs> Wide on the set. Is this uh, Drake and Bad Part Two? <laughs> It was a mess. But at the end of the day, all of the mess was just gonna make this movie worse, which in turn would make it better. So after a day of recording, we had finished 90% of the filming process, but we still needed to film Gabe and Michaela's scenes. We're done. We're done. Except we're not though. We don't have Gabe at all. Gabe, Gabe's ditching like a little stinky. And Gabe canceled on me. Everyone type L Jabe in the comments. So with the Christmas deadline swiftly approaching, we recasted him with Logan. Even though we had girls this time, it didn't need to have a dude play the main female, but it's fine. And after recasting Gabe, we only need to film one more scene with Michaela's character, which we did on the 10th of December, completing the filming process and allowing me to focus on editing. But before I could edit, we needed to make a royalty-free Christmas song for one of the scenes. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. 
That was until you came to my house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. oh. But with that out of the way, it was finally time for me to get to work editing. So it's a week after we started filming and we finally have everything done. And I have all the clips right here in my editing software. I have to go through and basically make the movie. <laughs> we have everything shot, but we still we still have to do the whole like making it part, which is the, that's that's most of the movie, to be honest, is actually making it. But honestly, editing's pretty boring. So green screen, Johnny, take it away. I had a lot of work ahead of me, but seemingly had ample time to do it because the movie only had to be done by the 22nd for our Christmas premiere. But I didn't have as much time as it seemed. From the 14th to the 19th, I would be on a trip, which meant I only had like six days to make this movie on top of the normal content schedule of making shorts. Not only that, but I had to make this video that you're watching right now about me making the movie ready for Christmas. So time was not on my side. But on the 20th, all the pieces finally fell into place and the movie was 95% done. Gamers, we did it. It's technically done. Look, look at this, look at this, ooh. It's, it's done for the most part. And all the movie needed were some finishing touches and it would be ready for our premiere event. I finished it, it's done. Look at, look at all that. Look at all that. And with the movie finally done, it was time for us to watch it. And you know we watched it in style. I just woke up in the morning. Uh, uh. I just woke up in the morning, I got mud in my cup. I just woke up in the morning, I got mud in my cup. At least I woke up in the morning. Had to get rid like that, I ain't pick no side. Yeah, yeah. Heard you got skipped like that, get the next side of time. Yeah, yeah. They wanna be another quarter, let it down. As is the occasion for all Johnny Razor productions, it was a formal matter. And I expect you at home to join us in your fancy attire as we watch this masterpiece of a film. And please feel free to at me on Twitter with your fit for the Johnny Razor premiere. If you dress up to watch a YouTube video, that is hysterical. I want people to do that. It's funny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're gathered here today to witness greatness on the silver, on the... LED screen, and we are going to all enjoy uh, the, the newest Johnny Razor original production. Every Christmas has its Christmas, too. My name is Holly Jolly. For the past year, I've been living the dream. I met Nick Kristoff, the man of my dreams, and dumped my stupid old boyfriend, Ness Biz. And now I have everything I ever wanted. A hot boyfriend, a dog, and Christmas. Oh! <laughs> I just woke up in the morning. Uh, uh. I just woke up in the morning. I got mud in my cup. I just woke up in the morning. I got mud in my cup. At least I woke up today. Had to get rid like that. I ain't pick no side. Yeah, yeah. Heard you got skip like that. Get the next side of time. Yeah, yeah. They wanna be another quarter. Let it down. No more. My name is Biz, Ness Biz. For the past year, life has been a living nightmare. I was a hotshot businessman. I had everything, money, a girlfriend, and no dogs. But then my girlfriend cheated on me for some small town guy. I lost it. I got fired. So I turned to a life of crime. And as a businessman, I was pretty good at it. I rose my way through the ranks of the criminal underworld, started a money laundering restaurant called Heisenberger. But once I built myself back up, I took out the one that tore me down. We are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Holly Jolly. She got capped by a certified hood gangster. What a way to go. I miss her so much. I think I may know a better way to chill than here. Oh my god, I'm I didn't see you there. I know the certified hood gangster who murdered her. Not putting together a team. Who's asking? The name's just in time. FBI, CIA, CLB, BLT. At your service. So who's our guy? Come with me. I'll explain on the way. So Holly's ex killed me. That's what my sources are saying, but we don't have any evidence, so I gotta do this one off the books. If you don't have any evidence, how can you be so sure? iPhone. He's been under investigation for his crimes in the criminal underworld. He's building a mafia empire, we just can't pin it to him. He's just way too good. But we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Let me introduce you to the rest of the team. This guy right here, Richard Tate, master of disguise. He could be your mom and you wouldn't even know. Check this out. 
Where'd he go? I'm back. Next, we got December, February. That's a dumb name. Right here, but valid. December's our weapon specialist. Guns, knives, rope, bombs. She's the one you gotta talk to. So don't be dissing the name. She will not shot. I'm ahead, Pim. And finally, we got Venti Latte. Poison expert. I used to work at Starbucks. She can make any drink you can think of. Yeah, so don't mess with me either, because your mocha frappuccino might be stronger than you want. What do you mean by that? Like, I'll poison it. Oh, that makes sense. Who's the new guy? This is Nick Kristoff. He used to be Tom Brady. I'm retired. Yeah, but he's still one heck of an athlete. His girlfriend was killed by our guy, so he's here to help us take him down once and for all. I have so much money, and my ex-girl is dead. I could not be happier. You see this ADK? All I had to do was sell one cocaine. This is nothing to me. It's like a napkin. Yeah, that's great, boss. But you know just in time, the guy that you shot in the eye? Uh, yeah, well, he survived just in time. And he's putting together a crew to kill you. In other news, uh, could you put some of my pay into a 401k? All right. Well, if it means nothing to him, then uh, <laughs> don't mind if I will never touch my money. So here's the plan. We have a team of people with very specific skills. And each of those skills is necessary for this to work. So what do we need to do? So the drug den is in the basement of the new Heisenberger on 420 Christmas Avenue. I knew that place was fishy. Yeah, I like Los Pollos Hermanos much more anyway. Anyway, we'll have Richie infiltrate the goon squad. Already done. Great. So we make our play on Christmas Eve. Why Christmas Eve? Because Heisenberger will be closed. But Richard, the door unlocked. So when do we start killing him? Once we make our way inside, we'll have to deal with his goons. All of them have wives and families, so we'll have to make sure to only kill them a little bit. Otherwise, we'll ruin Christmas. Gotcha. After we take care of the goons, all we have to do is take care of the target. Ness Bids. Sounds like a plan. Christmas Eve isn't even until tomorrow. What are we doing today? I don't know. Whatever you do on a Friday night normally. I need a vodka. Super size me. Sure thing. So, uh, who's that singing up there? Well, that's Serenader. She's actually a world famous pop star, but she sneaks into this bar from time to time to perform here. Who's asking? Kristoff. Nick Kristoff. Didn't you used to be like Tom Brady? I was. But I retired. Well, I can't say no to someone like that. You want to ditch this place? There's something I want to do. And what's that? <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding out. I'm left for dead too. Just like that hit 2009 game, Left 4 Dead 2. Guess who? Rapper Chrome from Abstinence Anthem. You're just in time. I am just in time, but I'm not Rapper Chrome. I'm just in time. We gotta get you patched up. Did you get stabbed? Yeah. Here, drink this. What is it? Stab wound and venom. <laughs> Would you look at that? Okay. Is everyone here? Uh, yeah, everyone but, uh, but Richie. That's because he's already in position. Sounds good. Also, be on the lookout for a girl named Sarah Nader. She's in cahoots with Ness Biz, and she's the one that gave me the stab wound that Venti so graciously healed. You could have just asked for that back. Look out for Sarah Nader. Got it. Sounds like a time. Yeah, it's time to teach these guys true me. Christmas. 
Ah. Oh. I'm just in time to kill you. My weight. My weight. Oh. Hey, yo. Coffee? Oh, that's very considerate of you, actually. Just, uh... Ah, it's poisoned. You stabbed me. I'll take that coffee iced. I'm Nick Kristoff, and I used to be Tom Brady, and welcome to Disney Channel. Without you, finish buddy. the mission without me. No, Justin. <laughs> Justin, you can't leave us yet, Justin. We have to go. No. No! Go. No! Becky! Ah! That was a poison tip knife. Drink some of the anti stabby stuff, Venom. It, it won't help. Okay. I'm already fading out. Well, well, well. If it isn't my arch rival, Ness Biz. You took the one thing keeping me from a life of crime, and I gotta thank you for it. You sick, sick man. Guard, take out these fools. Actually, Ness, you're the one getting taken out. Good work. That's one less loose end. Wakey, wakey. You sick bastard. You double-crossed us. Oh, I've been double-crossing you the whole time. What is this? Remember a girl named Sarah Nader? That's the girl who stabbed me. That was me! Richard, you no. backstabbed me. Call me Dick. Dick Tate. I knew I recognized you from somewhere. Now it's starting to add up. Holly Jolly, does that name ring a bell? It should, because you're the one who stole her from me. Wait, what? I was Holly's first boyfriend. I did everything for her. Then you, Mr. Big City Nest Biz, had to come in and take her from me. Wait! And if that wasn't enough, when there was more competition, you had to kill her. You pulled the trigger. But Nick, you're the reason she died. I, I, I didn't know. Shut up. I'm gonna enjoy ending both of you. I guess revenge is the true meaning of Christmas. No. You're wrong. Just, Just in time! No. The true meaning of Christmas is family. That means it's over. We're still tied up, but I hate you. But that, that isn't the true meaning of Christmas. What do you mean? To get out of this situation, I think we need to forgive each other. You think so? Yeah, I mean, if you could forgive me for stealing your girl, you know, I could forgive you for uh, killing her in cold blood. Yeah? That sounds reasonable. But I guess that was the true meaning of Christmas after all. Venti latte. Hey guys. I, I thought you died. I walked it off. But how? I guess I've made enough poison that I'm immune to it. Makes sense. Anyway, who wants coffee? Cheers. The doors are open for the world for you. The doors are open for the world for you. The doors are open for the world for you. Christmas has its Christmas too.
And that, my friends, was every Christmas has its Christmas too. And with a post credit cliffhanger like that, you better believe we're doing it again next year. So with that being said, I would like to wish everyone watching a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, and I'll see you in the next one.